just, I, I rewatched it and I was like, I could take a clip from that, but the whole thing is too good. Hi, the boys. Me? Hello, hi. Hi. You are on stream, everybody. Say hello. This is Sex Man. He was, he's soon to be the most famous beat composer. I'm not even gonna call him like a beat maker. He is a beat composer. And he will soon be the most famous one, so. This is the first mention of him here on this stream. You will see. Now say something that'll change everyone's lives, sex man. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so humble. So humble. Uh, okay, so I downloaded the video. Oh, you're not supposed to look at that. Oh, you're not supposed to look at that. Okay, I think we should be up and streaming again. Checkity check. Okay, we're back. Okay, hold on. I gotta get some more of that, that lo-fi, no copyright music. That's what the people want, that no copyright. And by the people, I mean me, because I don't want to get in trouble. Oh, you see everything I downloaded? Oh, all the, the things. I don't think there's anything incriminating in there anyway. But you're going to see all the tricks that I use to make my videos? No! Okay, so we're doing this straight from the beginning here. So I could make this bigger, but I don't have enough space on my thing right now. So we're just gonna export this as PNG. And we're just gonna call it... OT. And we're gonna save it to like, like a new file. 000 OT, should be easy to find. And we'll make this one. Call it OT frames. That's where we're gonna put it. And now we're gonna export it. This can take a while, so. Uh, we'll consider this the, the stream starting countdown for all the, the people who are going to come and watch. The stream starts in seven minutes once I finish getting my frames. Alright guys, it's your turn to take the wheel and, and uh, you two should have a debate. Deba debates are hot right now. You, should, you two should debate something. I'm making the beat. Jesse, your rebuttal. I'm clicking this button over and over again. Oh, no. Should I do... Should I also help? Yes. It's 
man. I don't even know how to get to our channel. It's up in the corner. And like your channel, but I don't see the stream. We're streaming, right? Uh, yeah, if you go to like your content, it should be at the very top. It's not. Isn't that the darndest thing? Maybe look for yourself? Does it go videos? And it's all the videos we've put up. Oh, I bet you I can sort by. That's probably gonna do it. Nope. No. better than I know my way around the page front from the app. Dashboard. I'm trying to find the stream as well here. Right? Like, how do you find the stream on... Yeah, I guess maybe I link it to myself on the phone. There's live. There's Epson thing live frames. Send that URL to uh, to the Discord so we can click on it. Let's go to my channel on here. Because I don't see the stream at all. I'm start. I don't see it anymore either. can be invisible for this. Ah. I'm just weirded out that it's like... It's set to private. Why is it? How do we not? Do, oh, why? How, how do I? I didn't even we realize that was an option. Playlist. It's okay. It's unlisted now. You just did that, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That explains everything. 
we should make a public domain or let's let's unlist it for a moment here while we do the thing to make it public no 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 it's unlisted right now yeah let's just uh give me the jujute here now live Shouldn't I be on the dashboard right now? It's under live streams. Like, like I went, I'm on my phone, right? And I go yeah. dashboard, videos, and then uploads live. I uh, go to videos. Mm -hmm. So like go to content and then uh, yeah, go to live. Okay. Uh, I got no live ones in there, just the absenting live frames. Vote by visibility unlisted. Yeah, I'll just post this in the Discord. And... Trying to search by unlisted. Is it just called absenting live frames right now? Oh, no, that was uh... the one I turned off. Sorry, this is the one here. Because I unlist, I did unlist one because it was. We're looking for one, uh, absenting one track lover, Garth Marenghi's Dark Place. I unlisted absent. It's still the same one. Okay. It's, yeah, it's the same one. Why can't I, uh, oh, wait. Oh, this was yesterday. I have something live frames. Where are you find? Hmm, that's so weird. Most recent. We're currently set to unlisted, right? Yeah, yeah. So, like, you can't find it from, like, the regular channel. But right. if you go in through the link... Okay, so I, I still just can't find the current stream. I only can find yesterday's absenting live frame stream. That's weird. see on the stream uh, I see um, you like a couple seconds later okay you can see and me I've right now open up, I've, I can't see you I've, I can just see the um, I can just see the screen okay and you what, what's on the screen uh, it says Sunday something it looks like you're encoding a sequence yes yes I'm encoding the uh, okay cool cool can you link me that URL to my phone please it's just not letting me find it no just to, in discord I've already linked so it can... in, it's already linked in discord cool cool okay is it to me or to uh, in general or it's in uh, it's to you cool cool thank you yikes I have no idea why I couldn't find it now Okay. Should I do the thing? Do the thing. Alright, doing the thing. And it just finished doing the thing. So wait, should we go to public or? Uh, 
let's let it do the thing for a little bit. Okay. And then go to the puzzle. Is the button or something? I'm gonna bring it public. Might as well try. Why won't she be? Mine. I gotta go from why won't she be mine. moment right before he puts his hand up is the first frame I'm gonna do. There's like a shitload of keyframes for that starting part so it just makes sense to skip it. This one's also gonna be tricky because there's gonna be lighting. It doesn't look as bad as the other one. I think I'm just gonna have to start it on uh, frame 130. Otherwise, I'm gonna be sitting here for an hour doing a couple of random head movements while he puts in the video and it's gonna look like ass. But if I... But the music starts right before his hand swings in. So that's where I'm gonna start it. Bad atmosphere about. It's the moment his head hits the profile, which is important. So we're starting on frame 105. Yep, don't look at that. Save it, sure. I'm. Uh, I can only see the desktop right now. Hmm. There we go. There we go. Oh, you can see it now? Oh yeah, no, I didn't I hadn't popped it open yet. I was still hunting for the frame on my other screen. Uh, let's see. And then we need the part with the hand coming in. Ideally with light. Actually, I think the next frame is going to be, depending on how blurry the hand is in motion, because it comes in pretty smooth, I think I can probably do it from here. Justin, do you want to hear the newest edition of Murder Jazz? Yes, just give me one second. We're going to do a special preview for you, folks. Oh, are you still on stream? Fucking night. Yeah, do a yeah, special preview for you, folks. Is anyone actually watching? Probably, like a hundred people, man. It's time, it's time to shine. Two five, two thousand. I was here. Two thousand. At people? least, at least. What are you talking about? Two million. <laughs> All right, you ready? Wait, hold on. Let me turn off my lo-fi beady beats. Okay, go. Okay. 
It's still in its early stages. It's just, you know, a design. Oh, that part's so loud, dude. So visualizing how I'm gonna do the shading here. Hard to get those little details. Rad dude, fucking yeah, rad. Yeah. Excellent preview to the six million people. <laughs> yeah, dude, six million. Yeah, bare minimum. Bare minimum. That oh, sounded great, dude. Might be able to capture the shine in this hair here, but there's a lot of moving light in this sequence. I think this one might just be a spotlight though. Let's get that uh, music going again. Yeah, we gotta get that lo-fi, no, don't copyright strike my channel music. <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> Can we just play some music? Can I get... Why can't I play Debussy? Can I get back on this? I just played a little Debussy, and they were like, "Nah, man, that that dude's coming back, and he he's, he doesn't want you playing that there. He's getting the money for. I guess it's because it's the orchestras, but they didn't write it. Getting harsh core distracted by Debussy." I think I'm gonna draw in, oh, wait, no. That wasn't in the original, was it? I don't think it was. I don't remember that being there in the original. I think this is a like a countdown as like part of a thing. Normally I like to draw in the, st the text that's on the screen, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that wasn't there in the original. I watched it a long ass time ago, but I'm, I don't remember that being there. So we're not gonna trace it in. Because of that, we're going to have to imagine what it looks like underneath. Imagination. Yeah, dude, that's the trick. You got to use your imagination. The hand's on its way up. I can do my best to make this look like a hand. 
Whenever the hands are moving, that's when it's hard to make the hand look like a hand. We got some blurry hand here, so we're just gonna do our best. actually keep the hand for this shot. trace the position he's got it in here very complicated hand indeed it has an after image that I'm trying to trace around here that looks super fucked up oh, we'll fix it we'll fix it it'll be great all I have to do is have more the idea of a hand because this frame is going to be blurred into that part so we're going to use this frame to get from like for the very start of the song just before the hand comes into frame up to uh when he's got it on his chin and that'll be our primary starting frame i do believe Uh, those don't really look like hard lines to me. There's some more hard lines. So we're just starting with the hard lines. kind of disappears into that. I might leave this pen. Just give it the outline there, but I might leave that in. I don't know, it's one of those little details. I feel like Matt Berry was really careful to make sure that you could see his his necklace, his earring, and even his little pen in this shot, you know? And he leaned just right so that all the little details of his costume could be seen. I don't know if that's a thing. He seems like a rad dude. I bet he'd do that.
I don't know the name of the guy who played Garth Marenghi, though. He's the main character, and he was fucking hilarious, but I don't remember seeing him in much else. If I seen him, I probably didn't recognize him. I think I might leave this shirt in. I feel like... If I try to synth this shirt, it's just going to make it look worse. I might have to add the light going past his face in post. It's really hard to see the outline of his coat here. Kind of blends in. Mm, yeah, I guess good enough for me. There's some more details covered up by this thing. Looks like shading and I'm gonna just check the lighting in the scene and see if the top lighting remains consistent through the whole thing or not we can preview it together shall we yeah, it looks like the top lighting is consistent all the way through. He gets some flashes of light on his face that I'm gonna have to like run in. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the, uh, just to make things easier on myself, I'm gonna do the light of the, the traffic, the light of the traffic. I'm going to do the light of the traffic um, in post with just Adobe's light effect, I'll just bring a light in and out and move it past him a couple of times to, to get the effect because synthing light like that is just horrible. You can see how bad it was in, um, that other one, what was the, I can break these cuffs trying to synth the light, just every time the police light came, it just like shattered all the detail. So that should give me a cool idea for an effect that I could do at EB at Ebsynth. I'm not gonna tell you about it though, I'm gonna do it first. And then I'll show people how I did it. Most of the line work in. It looks like this lighting is gonna stay solid. I think I'm just gonna finish off this arm here. Do -do -do -do. Oh man. Well, I can't quite make out what that says. Hmm. <laughs> Unfortunately, I can't really tell what that says for sure. Pull them out anytime? I might just leave it in. Maybe I can make a joke out of this. 
I'm gonna make a joke out of this. Will people be upset that I changed the original slightly? I don't know. I got a joke here. I'm gonna go for it. Oh, I'm gonna need myself some thinner lines. Okay, so here's the joke, right? I don't know if it says pull them out anytime, but it sure looks like it could fit pull them out anytime. So here's the joke. I write pull them out anytime here. Looks like a lowercase. I'm going to do for this lowercase e. We're going, to go, we're going down to one. People just have to forgive that this looks weird. draw an M today. Let's try and make it look a little more like the others. So pull them out. Pretty sure that's what it might actually say. I like to because I like to add a little something to any meme that I send for this will be my little contribution to this because I don't want to be all over this thing I want it to be mostly just the video so I'll make a little contribution that not everybody will be able to see really want to make sure people can tell this is time Pull them out anytime. That seems clear enough. Okay, so here's the thing. We got these weird little monster things, right? Here's what I propose they are. This isn't a little ice cream truck, okay? This uh, just so happens to be... Wait, hold on.
And in this, I can just make it say pretty much oh. whatever I want. Andrew says, sup. Sup, Andrew. How's it going, buddy? What's happening, dude? We're talking G or H? Uh, D. D. What up, Andrew D? The, the, the gentleman we were talking to the other night. Ah, uh, yes. What up, dude? This guy's cool. I like this guy's little puppet thing. It's a man. Here is the joke. Oh. Yeah, I gotta make it, like, smaller. Hope you're doing well, Andrew. Hope you're doing well. How's your uh, projects going, man? How, how I do ass. That seems clear enough what it's saying. And a little exclamation mark, make it pop. And what have we created? A little hidden background gag. Where instead of whatever this product was, it and it says pull them out anytime, it now is nuts. Pull them out anytime. Which has two meanings <clears throat> for those of you in the know. And other than that, I'm going to try to not change anything in this video. I'm just going to try and keep it like the, the music video, but absinthe. But I'm slipping this one into the background right at the start, just so that I can have my little mark on there. Because I like to change the, like change it a little, you know? What's the point of using absinthe if you don't change things just a little bit, right? Oh, exactly. Anyway, there's my contribution, quote unquote. It looks like another nut. Might as well give that some of those details too. There we go. A little, little effort in the details. And then we're going back to four and we'll do the rest of it at four probably. Oh, oh what's up with my line work right now? close and personal so I think the details that I want I might want to oh I can't leave in the code I must to do the code okay okay I think I know how I'm gonna do the code then the only details I can leave in are the pen the earring Pretty much, yeah, that's it. Okay, this might be ready to go into shading. Uh, a little more over here and the details on the face. Dang it. 
Hmm, I kind of want to capture the light on the steering wheel. I'm pretty sure that light doesn't change. got a notepad. Guess I can leave that too. I don't want to accidentally make him look too happy. He's kind of squinting here. Does that change? No. The eye is open, but barely. I have to try and make it seem slightly open. Okay, let's complete some of these lines. I think this is only an e intermediary frame because that hand looks like ours. Hmm. Am I seeing something there? Oh god. No, it's there. A hard time seeing it on the other side. Oh, there it is. start going for some color now. Let's start here. Might have to change the color of these to get them to blend well, but we'll see.
always gonna look a little wonky right at the start because you're comparing it to the image below whether consciously or subconsciously you just have to have faith at this point that this is gonna have some semblance of normality once the pieces come together And if not, you can always rely on it just looking like a nightmare. Okay, I'm gonna hit. Oh, I missed some bits. For a darker point in the hair, we're gonna have to use for the darkest points. We'll be able to capture. The red on the face and on the front of the hair, hopefully. Mm, yeah, then washing the white light over it might have the effect of making it look somewhat authentic. Let's hope. points so we're gonna go for separating line right about here and here now we're gonna do oh no nah. oh no nah. I want to see if I can Hey, how's it going, man? Voice is an idiot. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, bud. Hope you're well. All right, I'll blend that together oh. later. I'm just doing this color to try and capture some of the red, although I'm doing the lighting later. In fact, I might even redden it up just a little bit more. Let's see. That's good. I'll blend it in. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And then like a medium brown. And we'll put that in the rest and... It officially looks like somebody has spooged on his head. Great. Well, we're gonna try and blend this together and make it look a little less painty. I want to try and keep the hard outlines if I can, though. Hmm. 
Okay, so here we have the colors that we want to use. We got the highlights that we need where uh, So for starters, I think I'm going to reduce how light this is. So it stands out a little less. That's better. And it's going to make some pixely shit because I'm dealing with a small image, but that doesn't really matter. I'll clean it up in, in the end process, yeah. Whoops, whoopsie doopsie doo. Yeah, I guess that's probably a good start. Using this one's gonna start sharpening things up a little bit. Maybe. Some more like hair like texture if I can. Something a little less like this, you know. I can kind of go in the direction that I think the hair would be moving. to bring that mm, uh, let's go with that red I'm cool with it I think it's a bit much but it'll be fine oh god why do I always do that mm, even if it doesn't make sense with the hard line I gotta keep the hard line for effect and tracking mostly for effect See if I can't make it seem a little more sheeny. Sheeny, is that a word? Sashimi? on this end starting to look better Now, uh, there are a few reasons why I'm spending so much time on this first keyframe here. One, uh, it's the first thing people are going to see. All right? That's a, an important thing to remember. Okay? So, uh, if the very first thing you present looks like ass, even if you have a bunch of really interesting and exciting stuff later on down the line, people are still probably gonna remember that first impression of it kind of looking like ass but uh, if you show them something really nice right off the bat it kind of preps them for, to like enjoy you more I don't know man it, people people kind of form like a negative or positive opinion over these sorts of things really quickly so I think if you can get your first frames uh, Looking maybe a little bit sharper, we spend a little more time on them. Uh, it'll help uh, keep viewer retention or stuff and things. I don't know, but uh, other than that, uh, I can also 
Uh, it would be damn near impossible to, um, you know, draw this again, exactly, for the sake of uh, cohesion. But I specifically chose this frame because his head stays still long enough to the end. My intention is going to be copying as much of this image as possible for the next frame with his hand moved up. Uh, I'll probably have to redraw some of this, but not necessarily all of it. And if I can keep the nuts background, you know, Garth might move his hand, but when we get to the next frame, we'll see. So we're trying to save ourselves work if we can, and uh... Oh, that's way too bright. I don't want to go that cartoony white. And he's squinting and everything. I want to make sure people know his eyes are open, but... Need something more like that? No. See if I can't add a little effect here while I'm at it. I'd, I'd like to add a little shine of light to the eye. I'm gonna make it this. Yeah, just for shits. Oh, maybe some, maybe some will like it. Uh, okay, let's start with some face tones. Looks like we got one, two, three. Hmm. Let's try for like this. tone here. Um, that'll be maybe a little bit of this. Okay, that's gonna be the brightest tone. This one's probably gonna end up being the, the darkest. Actually, I'll do this for the darkest, and then somewhere in between there. tone some more of it down there um, and then finally the medium tone all right medium tone So they fixed the thing already. <laughs> already? They yeah. got on it. Yeah, they got on it. They got no, on they it real fast. I mean, yeah, they would. It's, it's YouTube and all. <clears throat> I wanted to get on it like immediately, but uh, I couldn't couldn't get on, and I was like, ah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's rough, rough. The darkest tone. I should go a little bit darker. Not 
dark enough. getting somewhere at least with these tones darker tone uh, lightest tone and a medium tone That kind of recaptures the light of the original image. Now I'll have to redo the lines. I don't mind. Make them nice and smooth. That's what gives it the really nice effect, you know? You put in the time, put in the time, you make it look real nice. Smooth. Smooth. Sometimes you can keep the line a little bit, you know? You don't have to always get rid of the line. Sometimes it adds to the effect. See? See what I'm talking about? What the thing? Told you. Oh, God. Yeah, so this video is going to have a lot of frames, and uh, I can't do them all with this level of detail, but I'm going to try to get him something, something like this good. And because of that, I can't, like, just bust it out, though. I'm going to have to, like, work on it slowly over time and do a really good job with it. I owe it to the good people of uh, you and he were buddies to do this one right. It's true. I got I got fans, maybe that wanna they wanna see it. I think somebody mentioned one track lover, and I was just like, hmm. And I was gonna do a clip from it until I saw right at the end that David Aoade like raps, and I'm like, oh yeah, this whole thing for sure. <laughs> I told David Touch, and it wasn't very nice when he left alone. Let's see. Yeah. I think the trickiest thing I'm gonna have to do is the uh, the shirt, I think.
so for this one, I'm definitely keeping the uh, original image in the background. Um, I could redo the background. I think I'm just going to punctuate it instead and hope that the details like hold. Yeah, but because it's a music video and because the frames are pretty short, I should be able to get away with like a nice detailed frame most of the time, you know? One nice detailed frame for one shot. Okay, so we've got two main tones for the, the jacket. I really don't gotta do that, I can do that at four. You could barely consider some of that. So the coat is basically going to get broken into light and dark coat. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm drawing on the wrong frame here. Whoopsie dips. All right, we're back.
Okay, I think it's time to... Some reason I'm gonna make it a little bit wider. And the shadows kind of got this purple to it. I really like it. And just like that, it's starting to come together. I'm gonna have to use these same shades for the hand. This thing is going to be in motion, so it's not exactly going to hold its detail too well. Okay. Blurred up thumb. I might set to pencil. hand's only going to be there for a moment. So what I'm going to do for this part is I think I'm just going to take the base color, spill it in there. I'm just going to put this above it and make it transparent. Oh, before I make it transparent, I better get a color from it. And then I'll set it to be like transparent here. I'll be drawing on this layer. Paint spell, just kidding. I also have another idea. 
What is this other idea? I'm gonna post this in Reddit. Okay. Oh god. like slightly more purpley color. Oh right. probably good enough to work with. Okay, I think I'm gonna clean up the coat now.
Hey, we're up like two subscribers though. Oh, cool. Oh, actually, we're up a bunch of subscribers. Yay, subscribers. Yeah, I gotta clean up this coat, dog. Gotta sloppy the coat. details A nice looking coat. Oh. All right, about time to synth the frame. I think I'm going to leave Garth's hand. that sound for what that sound for part of a good video good good a video saying that it's fixed do it make it make it quick make it fast the steering wheel too out of laziness 
and also just because I think it looks really good. Yeah, lighting's a little different over here. a better eye for color probably could have just picked the right color the first time but got lazy there at the end and just tried to copy uh, Matt's color but he's got different lighting All right, and that was frame one. Thank you. <clears throat> So let's see, we gotta get this guy from roughly a hundred. To 115. I think 130 is when he ends up with his hand on his chin. And that's where we'll draw the new frame. Five. It started in at like 90, we're probably gonna chop a bunch of that off. turns out.
Oh yeah, that head turn's gonna look all wrong. So we really should have been starting from what? Gonna have some issues with those words on the screen. What we need to get from frame. One oh five is where the song starts. I think I'm gonna try some different weights. Okay, let's see how it does that too. If I maybe reduce the weight of the original picture, I might be able to get the uh, the words out of it. 105 is where it starts. Not 100% sure where uh, the settings need to be for this one. much difference. bit of manual frame cleanup it seems but not a big deal bits video will start here it has some tearing but this the hold frame will be like 125 is probably good so what I could do is take 125 do is reuse as much of this guy as we can ok 
I wonder if I can find a version of it without the uh, text on it. Yeah, I'm going to use the original clip instead of this. Um, so I can get rid of this fucking thing. Fortunately, the keyframe will still work. I'm just going to have to do some working around. Uh, but this experiment was fun. Um, yeah. I'm going to stop streaming this right now. Probably go back to working on Faded Stars. But good, uh, good hustle. Good, good that. <laughs>